I spoke to the superintendent of East Detroit Public Schools and he says if the state school reform office wants to shut down Kelly Middle School, get ready for a fight, a big fight, even in court. In the meantime, I just obtained a copy of a letter sent by the school state, the state school reform office to all parents of children in those 38 schools in the bottom 5% for several years. And I'm going to read straight from it. It says we're doing this to improve the opportunities for all children to get a good education. It even offers them help finding a new school as the state school reform office works to decide over the next 30 days whether or not their child's school will be forced to close. They can't. This is the statement East Detroit Community Schools Superintendent Ryan McLeod has for anyone in the state who plans to force a local school to shut down. He says since he became superintendent of the district less than two years ago, he has helped several schools get out of the bottom 5% and has a plan he intends to carry out at the school at risk of closure now, Kelly Middle School. If the state tries to shut it down, he says the district will sue. We're willing to fight and do whatever we need to for our students and for our community. The school reform office says the list and threat of closure holds schools accountable. In the Warren Consolidated School District today, they learned two schools are no longer on the priority list put together by the school reform office. So what does that mean? We really ha have had no involvement with the school reform office. Chief Academic Officer John Bernia says it means staff worked with the Michigan Department of Education and the Intermediate School District to improve not the school reform office. I don't need an extra incentive to want our kids to succeed and want our kids to learn and grow. That's why I got into the profession. And so, and I speak for all of our teachers and all of our principals and all of our support staff. We come to work in Warren Consolidated Schools to help children succeed. We don't need a list or an extra incentive for that. That's why we're in the business. School closure hurts kids, it hurts communities, and it hurts families. End of story. As you can tell, there's a lot of animosity between schools and the school reform office here at East Detroit Community Schools. A letter is going out to parents saying, hey, we do not need the state to save us. Ignore that letter from the state school reform office that says, look for another school, we'll help you. The school reform office, again, saying this is all their effort to hold schools accountable and improve schools. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.